Well, folks, welcome to yet another episode of uh, The Rumble. Today, I have a guest uh, who's the kind of person that I admire because he's not the kind of person who's just done one job in his life, you know, join the government service and you retire at 58 and take your pension and go home. This man has been just going from job to job, uh, profession to profession, trying his hands at various things and invariably successful in many, many of them. His name is Kumar Vail and he runs his own company. And if I actually list out all that he's done, I'll get tired. So I'm going to ask you, uh, Kumar, I'll call you Kumar. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, so yeah. You, I know you are now with the Rotarians where we, where I met you for the first time. Uh, how did you end up in an organization like that? Did you have a lot of spare time now that? Not exactly. I didn't have spare time, but I was taken in by one of my friends. He said, you have been doing a lot of good things in your uh, profession. Why not get into service, do something for the society also. Okay. And that was a time when I was just starting to or rather planning to do a business. Okay. So then he said, the Rotary also provides you a platform which will provide you contacts yes. to do business. Yes. But uh, please come. No, the, the thing is that um, do mostly people who are planning into business who get into Rotary or you are employees? No, no, no. See, I have not been benefited out of Rotary as far as my business is concerned. I am there in Rotary from 1991. Okay. I started my business in the in 1993. Mm-hmm. Until date, I've got very good friends in Rotary, very good contacts. And but unfortunately or fortunately, I don't know. I couldn't involve them in a business. But is so, it a, is it a, the kind of thing where networking is the prime? Uh, no, networking objective? is also allowed. It is allowed in the sense that's why they don't take. Um, uh, two people of the same profession in Rotary in the same oh, club. So you don't end up being competition, competition with each other. With each other. But okay. at times now it's possible because a civil engineer can also be called a structural engineer in a different classification. That's Sometimes true. you find two civil engineers in the same club in a different classification. Okay. If the guy is really good and you need to have him as a member. So you've been in Madras all your life because you know we're very interested in people who come out of this city. Yeah. So you you born and brought up here? Born totally born and brought up here. And where which school did you go to? I go to I went to Kendra Vidyalaya Havadi. All right. HVF Havadi where my mom was also teaching. Okay. So okay. right from nursery I studied there. And your your father was a service officer. Yeah, he was... Never thought colonel. of going into the army yourself? He tried to force me, but I didn't want to go to. I see. Why was I not your line? Uh, I didn't have an inkling at that point of time. And, the, you know, my, I was a kind of an ambitious guy. Okay. I wanted to do something. Why are you going to become um, chief of army staff? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's probably right. But it's yeah. too late now to think yeah, of I it. Yeah, I know, I know. So what made you go into engineering? Everybody likes to know that. Engineering is like those days, was everybody gets into engineering. No, there are very few engineering no. colleges were there in 1977 when I finished my schooling. Okay. There are hardly five or six engineering colleges in Tamil Nadu. Which is the one you went to? I didn't see, I didn't get uh, in any of these regular colleges. Okay. I got in Bits Pilani. Oh. But unfortunately, on that in that particular year, one of the guys there committed uh, suicide after taking drugs. And I'm at the one... Bits. At, at Bits. Bits. Okay. At Bits. In 1977. Okay. And in, uh, in my case, my parents, I'm the only son. So mm. my parents told me that, come on. You didn't go anywhere. Unfortunately, I got, I got only about some 75 or something in maths marks. Mm. Whereas I was from central school, okay. Kendra Vidyalaya. Whereas other schools like from uh, local schools, uh, from state government, uh, they were getting 100 easily. Okay. So I couldn't get in any of the local. In uh, Pilani, what they do, they consider uh, uh, Kendra Vidyalaya students separately, central school students so You're supposed to come from a higher standard. Than higher standard. So, so they, they used to, because for 9th, 10th and 11th, for the three years, they used to... Assessors in 11th. So three years what you study your assessed in 11th in uh, So it's not school. like go to one cramming course and study like a madman and get the marks and go through. No, it's you have not to have like, yeah, consistent three, three, yeah. three years and final, the exam, final mark exams are taken into account. Of course, but they'll, they'll track you for the entire thing. Then what I did, I got medicine because I got very good marks in biology. Okay. Then, but I was, I didn't, I, you know, those days there were no corporate hospitals. All there right. are only hospitals like a GH. So you didn't feel like or... earning potatoes and, uh, and and fruits when you work in a rural area. Sometimes the doctors don't get paid in cash. <laughs> not, they give them pumpkins. And... No, no, not really. Because, you know, because I couldn't stand the smell of these hospitals inside. The dis- okay. disinfectant smell, the mm. toilet smell. Mm. Whenever we used to go and visit somebody, I used to feel like vomiting, in fact. Okay. And I was wondering, how, how am I going to come and work there? It's that good. kind of feeling I had. Good you realized at then, that uh, kind of point. Then, unfortunately, again, uh, the dean of the college was one of her relatives. Okay. Then I told him, I don't want this. No, no, your mother will get upset. No, I said, no, I want to do my engineering. Then, since my marks were low in maths, then later on what I did, uh, I thought, let me do my BSc. Okay. Then I resigned almost. I thought, I'm going to, I thought of joining Loyola BSc. 
then one of my uncle's uh, father uh, my, uh, my, uh, my friend's father uncle he had come down he said why you want you do ami is equal to b that time we never even knew, knew what ami was what is ami is an associate membership of institution of engineers it's conducted by institution it's like a shortcut to engineering no no it's in, uh, conducted by institution of engineers india okay you have to write it privately but there are a lot of private institutions which were taking classes for this okay and it's very tough the percentage passes were only 1% because okay. people all over india were writing that all right and they were maintaining a standard so it's a competitive thing rather than a qualification type it's a, no it's a very tough tough compared to uh, see once you get into a college engineering college or i should have getting a b mm. but i know people even for the past 15 20 years they're still doing their ami okay let me ask a straight question like a lot of people asking me uh, but how good are the colleges of today as compared to the colleges of the old days and everybody tend tends to say the same thing standards are dropping this that and the other but when i talk to the uh, the teaching staff they saying what we teach today we we did not even know when we were students so is it rapid the change happening today in colleges not exactly see you can, you have to grade the colleges actually see if you take engineering colleges for example you have the top colleges you mm. have iits you have iises and then you have excellent private colleges also but this you can and government colleges you can count with your fingers really good colleges okay take uh, tamil nadu for instance we have 576 engineering colleges wow and in 1977 there hardly six or seven government colleges i could have easily got admission to any of the colleges but the quality of the colleges have deteriorated very badly yeah and the yeah. syllabus and all even we don't they don't have professors they have norms for professors you should be a doctor i don't think you have so many doctors or doctorates who are teaching i think those people. rules are there just to be broken absolutely i have one person i believe is certificate goes around in five six seven college unofficially i heard or eight colleges is teaching wow. back okay. this is what is going on and luckily now today i am ashamed to be if i study now and come out of these colleges i will be really ashamed to call myself an engineer so listen you heard that from him he's talking about himself he's an engineering graduate himself saying the, the colleges are not producing the kind of people so when we come back we'll find out what exactly is going on in the employment area for engineering Thank you.